like to introduce our next guest, um, Tally Heilke, Victoria-based crafter who creates at least a craft a week and tells the world on her blog. Sammy Goff is a knitter and felter and the promotions for Iconocraft, which is an interactive craft showcase in Victoria. So a warm welcome to the two of you. Thank you, Tally and Sammy. Um, so Iconocraft is an amazing thing. Personally, I think it's interesting. But why specifically are you bringing crafts out of the home and schools and into a public arena? Is that what you're doing with it? Can't help ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do it out of habit. I craft all the time. And I think I said something about crafting evangelism the other day, how we want to teach everybody that they can do it. And it's fun. And you know how when you love something, you just want everybody else to enjoy it too, so you don't look so weird when you're sitting in your corner doing it all alone? Absolutely. Awesome. Um, so then ex building on that, what does crafting do for you? And why do you share it? It's, gosh, what does it do for me? It does. Everything for me. I, um, a couple years ago, I graduated from UVic with a creative writing degree and was shocked to learn that this was not going to land me like a six-figure job right away. Yeah. So um, out of my boredom, I decided to start this blog and start crafting all the time. And it's just, you sort of get into a place where that's what you do, and you can't not do that. And so crafting for me is it's how I relax, although it's also what stresses me out because I haven't finished all of it. <laughs> um, so, but it, it's, it's how I... I it's how I enjoy life. It's how I live. It's the thing that I live for, that I enjoy doing and creating things instead of just going through the grind every day and having no, feeling like I have no purpose. So that's what it is to me. That was a little Amazing. too deep. But no, that's great. <laughs> so then why are you having this event and what is it going to look like? What are, what's going to be there and what can everybody expect? Um, we started the event last year and um, I guess the inspiration behind it was that um, Myself and Vicky Peters, who's also a local crafter, um, were at a craft fair and we were looking around at how it worked and we thought, oh, this would be fun to do a craft fair but make it kind of different and more interactive and more like a, a performing arts event as well and sort of intermingle the two. And so um, we started it out and it was incredibly successful. We realized that what we thought would be a fun event, a lot of people really enjoyed it. And, and um, so this year we've taken it to a new level and made it more interactive and um, we have 10 different uh, tables with specialty crafting mini workshops. So you can learn how to create everything from a terrarium to uh, screen printing your own t-shirt to um, burlesque applying your own underwear. So there's, there's like a big range of things that you can do. So it's not just for consumers or just for crafters, it's for both. For everyone. everybody. Cool. And who do you expect to show up? Like, who came out last year? Everybody, anybody. <laughs> it's at night, which is kind of neat. Yeah. It's more of a party. Well, maybe. we hope everybody. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Because you have, I guess, uh, the event center is a really versatile venue. So, you yeah. know, you can sit there and have a glass of wine and, you know, do some needle felting with Tally and learn how to make a cute little creature, um, which we've just been doing while we're waiting here. And, yeah. Yeah, actually. Um, we wanted to see some of that. Um, you were going to create or have someone join us in creating something? Yeah, if we have this audience. If anybody wants to volunteer, <laughs> I'll give you something sharp and you can stab things with it. Does anybody feel like <laughs> stabbing something just soft? Raise your hand. We need an audience, audience volunteer. Perfect. Woo! So Jeremy's going to come up. So I guess maybe here we can show. Sure, I think I'm attached to the wall. I don't want to. Oh, do you want me to? Okay. So you can You're that. attached to the wall, too. Do you want me to grab it? <laughs> Missy will grab it for us. Thank you, Missy. <laughs> and you need that box that's at your feet. So they're going to do a live crafting. Jeremy's our, our guinea pig. Why don't you come and sit where I am, and they'll show you what to do. So we're going to... Okay, so um, you want to pass me one of those objects on the table, actually, so I can see what he's aiming for? Yes. I volunteered because I have terrible skills. Excellent. Well... I think I have band-aids in my purse in case you stab yourself. So this is this is what you can do All right. with wool, and this is what it looks like before you do that. So, but I promise it'll work. So um, here, pick a color. Looks good. All right. So basically, I'll grab this. What you're going to do, you can pull it apart if you want to start with a smaller piece. Just yank on it. And then you're going to kind of 
wind it up into a nice tight little ball. You can kind of curl it. Twist it. Yeah, however you want to do it. Does everybody get this nervous about crafting? Um, I don't know. I mean, I just <laughs> screw up a lot instead of being too nervous about it. Get it right eventually. It's really zen. If you make yeah. a mistake, you just go over it again. Or yeah, exactly. It, right? So then put it on top of your phone once you've got it all wound up. Yeah, well, most of it. So these needle felting needles, these are kind of cool. They really hurt if you stab yourself with them, so I don't recommend it. Um, but the camera probably can't see, but there are these tiny, tiny little indents in them. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the needle and stab it into the wool, and those tiny indents are grabbing the fibers of the wool and pulling them together to get them to kind of lock together. Hold hands, if you will. So you do that a whole bunch. Don't go faster than you're comfortable with. And the number one rule of this is don't ever take your eyes off the needle. Oh, see, you're going pretty well there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unless you want to wear the needle. And you just keep, it, it's a fairly long process, but like Sammy says, it's kind of zen. You just keep going, and you think about things, and you keep stabbing. And as you go, the fibers, you can already see, I can pick that up, and it's not I unwinding. It just, keeps, uh, it just keeps locking together. So when you keep just doing that, <laughs> I told you. When you keep doing that on and on and on, eventually you end up with something that's a, a solid object. So you just keep going. If you really want to get daring, you can grab two needles and use them together. It gives you stabbing more surface area, so it'll go a little faster. <clears throat> Got more in there. And then you just keep doing that. That's it, that's all it is. And then you just keep adding on to it. Sammy, who's only needle felted, this is your second time? Yeah. Yeah. She just made this little guy with the cute eyes and the mustache. So, so you can you add colors. Color on. Well, you grab the second color and you can ball it up a little bit or whatever. And you just stick it down where you want it to be and you stab it into place. And it stays. See? I'm going to interrupt. Right. I like how you. <laughs> I love how you're stabbing things into 